Hello, I'm Leanne from Spectrum Wildcrafters Companion and in this little YouTube clip we're going to have a look at how to build dimension. So we've moved on from doing a smooth blend, we've hopefully you've also looked at how to use three colours for a basic blend, we've had a little bit of a dabble with some palette blending and now we're going to have a look at how to take a flat object, a 2D flat drawing and make it look like it has 3D volume. So build dimension into your colouring. The best way to explain that is to show you the two different examples I've got here of the same image. So you can see here we've just got a basic plan pot, just a cylindrical shape. And while we talk about that, um, please, if you haven't watched the Spectrum Noir DVD, take the opportunity because we do cover this in so much more detail for lots of different shapes. But for the purposes of your accreditation test, this will do you absolutely fine. So we've taken a 2D flat plant pot, which has just been coloured with a smooth blend, which you've already practised. And then we've taken a variation of colour using the technique that we've learned in the basic blending. And we've used it to build volume and dimension in this plant pot. And you can certainly see that this now looks like a very beautiful cylindrical object with a highlight where the light's catching it at the front there. Really quite easy to achieve. Um, and I've used four colours for this one and I would recommend you do. The more colours you've got between the dark and the light does help to build much more intense volume, dimension and shape into an, into an object. It's not easy to achieve that with obviously one colour or two colours. So we've used, for the purposes of this one, the tan family. And I've used TN7, TN5, TN3 and TN2. So what you're going to do is take your little printed out plant pot and we're going to start with TN2 and um, actually my tan pens I have incorporated the brush nib into these because they're a colour family that I use a lot for hair and for skin so um, I've transferred my chisel into a brush nib and again if you haven't uh, seen how they work please do check out the Spectrum Noir DVD and you'll be able to see exactly how to use the brush nib there but you could absolutely do this exact same technique with um, the chisel or the bullet nib. It just so happens that I've got the brush nib in my pens. So as we've done in previous videos where um, I've talked about the smooth and even saturation, I've got a lot of colour down there to start with. So that's my TN2. And then I'm going to move on and I'm going to go with my darkest this time, my TN7, which sounds a little bit mad because I'm doing the darkest straight into the lightest and you can see there's a very definite difference there. But we're going to build up layers of colour. So how to build dimension. I've just gone out the line a little bit, I apologise. We'll fix that later because we know we can now. Um, how to build dimension is to build up many layers and that's how you really build volume. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. And I like to work on one side at a time because to build volume, you do need, you need wet ink to blend. So that's the TN7. And then we'll take the TN5, which is the next color down. And we're going to repeat that process of just flicking over the top of where I've built the dimension there with the TN7, flicking back over catching the edges, not going right back to the end and flicking further into the center of the first layer of TN2. Don't worry that we can see a line because we will rectify that in a second. We will need multiple layers for this technique to work. And then we're taking TN3 and we're going to do exactly the same again. So up to the edge of the TN5, out into the TN2, For that final layer of colour. And then we're going to turn it round. Don't worry about the fact that you can see lines there. Trust me. Stick with me on this one. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Just put a darker line there. Just edge that. And then I'm going to flick out into the centre again. So I've got my TN7 
and I'm just flicking out into the center. I don't want a linear line. I want it to be very um, ragged, jagged, the opposite of linear on the edge um, as I flick that out and that will make a much better blend. So TN7, TN5. Notice I don't go right back to the beginning, I just go over the feathered edge of the TN7 with my TN5. We could see that's definitely starting to build that volume in there. TN3. Lovely. And then finally TN2, which was the first colour that we put, and that's just to smooth and centre highlight. So that's the first layer. And we're going to repeat that process again, exactly, to just take away the line between the colours now and really start to smooth it in to one beautiful shape. So we're going back to TN7 and we're just repeating exactly what we've just done a second time over the top. So TN7. Now you'll notice I'm leaving the lids off my pens as I go between the colours for speed of the YouTube clip so you don't see me popping the lids back on and on. Um, but what I would recommend is that you don't leave your lids off your pens for long periods of time because depending on the environment you're in, they could dry out. So this is just, this is a case of do as I say, not as I do. And you've got your TN2 and turn it around and exactly the same again. So you can see that's definitely starting to build the dimension there. As that dries, it will smooth out more. So you can see the effect that we've got. And then all I've done is repeat that exact process along the lip of the pot. And that's how you manage to achieve real volume, depth, dimension, pop, take it from being 2D to 3D, however you want to describe it. But that's how you make an object look real with many different colors. And please do give it a practice you'll be thrilled with the results. Try different colour families. Don't worry about using the brush nib if you don't want to. You can absolutely achieve that with the bullet nib. Just make sure to build up your layers and that's how it's really going to make that, that image pop. Have fun. Mm -hmm.